What if I don't live? Did I do something? I didn't want no Tootie Fruity or Rudy. I wanted Hattie Mae style. Nothing. It looks better actually, like more moisturized. That's probably but just look at how it's starting to look. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about how I maintained my silk press for the first 10 days. So right here you just see me the first night kind of going over the pin curls that I did. I just simply rolled my hair in the same direction that my hairstylist had done the curls. Now this resulted in tighter curls. Um, it was okay, but I found better ways and better methods throughout the 10 days. And honestly, my silk press ended up looking better over time. Now there were some days where I kind of messed things up by sweating and stuff like that, but I learned that I could re- Five my hair with some simple doing some simple things at night so stay tuned stay with me let's go through it together watch y'all died on me mid-sentence but any fool i got one more i think but anyway yeah i'm gonna do this one real quick and i'm just taking it around my finger and then just in that thing we use body pants for these this too. I feel like this is a little less like bobby pin. You gotta like slide in there. So a little, more, a little tighter, I feel. And I um, yeah. Let me see how this is falling with this hump right here. Am I making a hump right there? Whatever is making it, it's okay. <laughs> Let me try to do it exactly like it was. Cause it was looking good. Now. One here, pray for a sweat free night. I'm actually gonna put this bonnet on top of it because I'm about to wash my face and I'm trying to keep it from getting wet. I need to now, this is that time when I definitely need one of them. Uh, okay, I'm about to die again. I definitely need one of those finger revivers, you know, that you protect your hair with, you know, the band and the wristlets. Okay, so this is. The day after I got it done, let's do that. Let's see, it don't really, it don't really look like nothing, but. It's okay. What if I do it? What if I do it? Did I do something? I don't know if it is. It's cute. It's not bad. It's just not what I wanted to do. I didn't want no tutti fruity or rudy. I wanted it to kind of be coming this way with it. All right. So when I came home from Sephora, I just put this bonnet on and it just kept it there like it was, which is fine. I, and now I'm having to decide if I want to like do something that'll make it fall, like get more length, you know, or if I want to leave it like this. My mind is kind of telling me to leave it like this because just for one more day because I can do a style with this um, that I want to do for the chair dance class. Did I don't know if we talked about that, but I am gonna, I think, do this one. Let me see if I can figure out what people was doing. Yeah, they're going like this. I'm gonna do this one like so. What I did now, can I redo it? Because this one, it didn't, it laid cute, but it was strange, you know. So I'm just gonna put my finger here and here. And I think I'm doing like right here. And just gonna let that get caught up in the rapture of love. 
take my hand out. Let me see how that did. I mean, don't worry, but it's so uh, up there. I want it to be like right here, you know what I mean? And it want to be up there. Hattie Mae style. Okay. That's how I'm going to do this one though. And, oh, ugh. It don't feel like it's going to lay as flat, and it's not. So, I'm literally just going to do what I did yesterday. And then I'm going to try something else tomorrow. But we'll see, because tomorrow night is supposed to rain, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to be coming home to. I want this one to be a little lower. I'm flat to my I think I prefer... I can't say I prefer because I ain't tried, but it's something that makes more sense to me. Flat, just doing it flat to my head versus doing it like rolled up. So I'll just do it this way. Cause that's what I wanna do for now. And I, like I said, we'll have plenty of time to explore other options. Good night. Ooh. So, my hair fell at the chair dance thing because I was, you know, doing a little one-two step for my boo and I sweated, sweat my edges out. For sure, for sure. You see? Now that might not come back, but and my hair was down. Some pieces like got, like this piece, whatever. But what I'm about to do, I'm so I wasn't gonna pin curl tonight, but I'm actually going to go back and pin curl because that's what's gonna be best to kind of preserve the curl, get that curl back. I definitely don't want to go in that way. Oh, this one got a little crispy ditty. <laughs> so these I have closer to the bottom of my head. If you can see that. Okay. So it's about three on this side and three on this side. About this one trying to come down. I'm sorry, I should have lifted it up. Long time ago. That was wrong. This is a cute style actually with this little choker if you ask me. Really not bad for how much I sweat. I'm gonna show y'all 
a video of how wet my face was, but I don't know if it's really gonna be able to tell you how bad I was sweating, but it makes me a lot less worried about working out because I wasn't even trying to protect my hair and it really don't look that bad. face washing thingy. And I didn't miss much of my face either, as far as, you know, forehead. Okay, so yesterday we went to that chair dance class, so let's see what the damage was. And today I'm about to go to, we going to yoga, a couple's yoga class. So, yeah. So this is what it's looking like from last night. Oops, this back, this back stuck to my head. I don't got stuck on the pin curls and I was supposed to be trying out different things, but this one is just working for me. But when I start working out, like my lifting, I don't know, that's gonna be the best. Okay, I don't wanna do this. Okay. Yeah, those just kind of fail a little. Still a little crunchy down here. A little, it's a little gone right here. Yeah. From yesterday, looking a little George Washington. But thing is, I was just gonna try to do a clip for today. What it look like? Nothing. No, I'm not pleased. Like leave my hair down? No. Yeah, no. Throw that up there. I'm gonna put my little Nike sweatband on there. It's downstairs. I don't feel like one over down there. And then come back up. So let's just use this. When I took it down at the ponytail, that was on top of my head, it was like, even fuller than this, like it was like up. It gave us some volume. So I'm gonna try that tonight. I was gonna try the heatless curl thing. I'm trying to, so I'm trying to, this is my first time using a comb since I've had it. I've just been using my fingers. But I think there was something wet on the counter and I don't want my water. It was dry. So yeah, I'm just really going off of what it feels like my hair needs in any given night. So tonight I'm going to just go back to my This side, cute. This side, ain't. <sighs> Sorry, it's been a long uh, Super Bowl Sunday. My hair is dry. So I'm gonna put a little bit of shea butter, like a super small amount. I have no idea what this is gonna do, but I know I can't use like any water-based anything. So 
I'm just going to throw this on there. And I'm going to throw a little grapeseed oil. Like just literally just a little bit. I'm gonna put some more shea, African shea butter on my hair because that worked out yesterday. Now I don't wanna put too much, but my hair is just in a, a state right now with just coming out of those locks. Then it done got, you know, blow dried and uh, all this other whatnot. And it's just in a state, honey. Just quick wardrobe change real quick because that was a bit bulky. Uh, I can't wait to get into some twists because my hair just really needs to be, you know, moisturized and have that water you know but i want to see how long this can last and all that blah blah, blah. give them a little money's worth also you know not you know keep pulling my hair back and forth back and forth but yeah it really helped especially on that little crunchy part that i had yesterday i'm gonna put a little more like i really don't want to go you know too crazy with this this is dangerous now if you if you don't have you gotta go by what your hair is feeling like of course because i was thinking about not of course doing it every day but it will seriously be up to what my hair needs i probably hopefully i already said you cannot of course use anything that is water based Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? I'm studying what that is. Huh? That's an old study, what that is. Did you find out? No. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this roller, it don't seem secure at all. Okay. 
feels good. It feels back. Like, you know, I worked out this morning. Uh, there's really no residual. You know, I put the shea butter and grapeseed oil in there. So, I am a millennial. So, I made side part early. <laughs> Do you like side parts or middle parts? It looks better actually, like more moisturized. That's probably due to the, look at that girl from the thing. But um, yeah, I'll probably more moisturized from the shea butter and grapeseed oil. So I'm about to start my second um, leg day or glute focus day of the week. Um, I feel like last time I did kind of let my hair dictate how hard I went. Um, I'm going to have to let that go because I really need to be doing my workout. It's crazy because I have to, I'm not going to be able to probably be a straight hair type of person because everything I do I have to think about that like this weekend I'm like oh I could go to hip-hop step class but my hair will probably get sweat out oh there's a dance class this weekend but my hair will probably get sweated out like I can't that's not for me I've been putting the shea butter and grapeseed oil on my hair I need to give that a rest because that of course is gonna affect how long my uh, press last I needed it because I had sweated out some pieces from having my hair down when I did that chair dance class um but that was unavoidable it was for Valentine's Day and for my husband so I'm not gonna like have my hair wrapped up so it was unavoidable but um yeah I need to lay off of it too so it's not weighing my hair down all right so yeah I worked out this morning happy Valentine's Day um, and I just wanted to take my hair down. I gave it a chance to dry after, um, after working out. It looks good to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see the back. I don't know what I'm liking the back, but yeah, don't feel too bad. Um, I would also suggest like if you're working out at the gym, like I've been using a box fan a little bit, so when I sweat to try to get under. But if you have one of those neck bands, I think or you get one of those neck bands, I think that would be good to have at the gym too if you're trying to preserve your silk press. Sure. 
feels good. Yeah. I've seen it wrapped from the middle a lot, but I do like how it came out wrapped from the side. And like, I've been having issues with this piece and now it looks good. My hair feels good. That's the shea butter. Um, you know, I'm gonna lay off of it though because it will make it heavy as well. But just look at how it's starting to look with using the shea butter and the grapeseed oil just a little bit. It's, it's just, gave it some life so today is the 17th and that makes this the 10th day of me having my hair silk pressed so that sounds like a perfect i wanted this video to be about me maintaining my uh silk press with while working out but i feel like i made so many like i was i wasn't working out as hard as i normally do so with that being said, I'm just gonna make this video about me preserving my retwist for the first 10 days. And then this next week, I'm gonna try to take this uh, silk press out. I'm gonna do everything I can. I mean, I'm gonna do everything I can on the preserving side, but I'm also gonna be sweating multiple times a day and just doing my regular routine to see because I'm planning on washing my hair next week. So, either way, it don't even matter. And I got this for Valentine's Day. Let's try it out. Rev Air. I'm so excited about that. But I might not use it this time. Because I just, you, I might not use it this time. But, yeah, this, I done got stuck on using this thing. This has been the best. I feel like I love the curls that it gives me. Um using this so this is what i'll be using next week and i'll be doing something different to my hair when i'm before i work out to see how it works out and i bought a sweat band and we just gonna really test it out see how much sweat uh this silk press can handle so yeah thank you for being here look at it i feel like it looks better now then it looked. Let me say how much I just said. Nah, it looks better. It feels better now than it did when I first got it. That's for me. That's not for you. It still looks good.